Hi, welcome to Global Group Fitness. I'm Lincoln Stewart. We're about to start gym stick workout number one. So, any, any stick, blue, green, or black. Take the straps off for me. Plenty of time. I want you to put the stick into your hips each time we make an adjustment today. That means that you can release your hands and your hands are free to move the straps around and set them up. So stick into your hips, one strap onto each foot. Make sure they're not crossed over. Make sure you have a water bottle and a towel. Okay, come up tall. So our first move today, we're gonna wind the strap, the stick all the way down until you take all the tension out of the straps. So wind down to your knees so that when you stand tall, lift your shoulders up and back, the strap should be taut. First exercise, upright row, nice and tall to the top of your chest. Make sure you pull your belly button into your spine, pelvis forward and a straight back, try not to tip. Couple of seconds, then we're gonna make a move. 16 reps, three levels on the left, three levels on the right. Let's go, upright row, 16. So up and down. Lead with your elbows. Just ease into it. You've got six working tracks. We're going through all the different muscle groups in the body. Good. At any point, if you want more tension, put a couple of turns on your stick. Two more. Last one. Hold it there. Good. Take all your turns off. Take it onto your shoulders. You can keep some turns on if you want. Single squats. Let's go. So imagine that chair behind you, stick your backside straight out behind. Belly button to spine, weight through your heels. Eight more. Good, soft knees at the top. Two more. Last one. Good. Next one. We're going to step out and we're going to squat in. If you can, I want you to push to the ceiling when you do. So out, up. The right leg moves all the time. Good. Tall posture. Try not to arch your back. Or your weight stays on your left foot. Your right foot is light. Two more. Good, hold it there. Now, if we were on a track, a working track later, we'd be changing sides with our straps here. For now, we're gonna stay here. I want you to shake it out. So we're gonna repeat the whole lot, but we're working off our left foot. So we're gonna upright row. Upright row. Wind up and pull. Good. Lead with your elbows. They should already feel those arms working. I can feel my core too. Two more. Good. Hold. Release. Take it onto your shoulder blades. Single squat, straight out behind. Let's go. 16, 15. Eight more. Good, keep breathing. Two more after this, two more. Hold it there, nice. Take the turns, take your shoulder off your, stick off your shoulders, feet together, stepping out, stepping in, overhead press, let's go. Left leg moves. So your first working track, is with Barbara. Hold it 
Hold it there. Nice. Get ready to work your legs. Hi right, team, I'm Barbara. We're going to train your lower body. So just stay where you are. I'm going to set myself up. So you should have your straps on your feet. And we're going to train some lower body, some squats and lunges in this track. So give me one or two turns. Bring the stick up and over. And let's set up your stance. So feet in the hips. Give me a heel to toe wide. Toes slightly out. Now lift the chest proud. Brace the core. Bring the elbows forward. And get ready to do some work. Are you ready? Let's go. Single squat. Down. Up. So your hips sit back and down. And allow your knees to come forward. Your knees striking light with your mid toe. Got eight more. Eight. Seven. Keep it that chest proud. Knees soft to the top. Last four. Three. Oh, we have a quick transition. Get ready. Last one. Stick up and over. Undo the turns. Keep your right hand across your body. Now your right leg step forward. So long stride. Bring that stick up. We set up for lunges, singles. Let's go. Down, up. So I'm gonna come sideways so you can have a look. So long stride. Keep that turn, that bracing that core. Because if you let it go, that's what's gonna happen. So try to bring your knees to 90 degrees. Two more. Hold, stay where you are. So that's gonna be your next exercise. You're gonna lunge and you're gonna lift the back leg. Whoops. So lunge and a kick. Get ready, chest proud. Let's go. Down and rise. So what we're doing here, we're loading that front leg. So the front thigh gonna start to burst, yeah? It's burning now. Feeling that glutes. Keep that chest proud. A few more. Four, three, two, and one. Hold. Bring the right leg. Step behind. Up and over. Twist. Let's go. Oh, back to your squats. So add a couple of turns. Let's go back. Down. Up. Oh, hold that. Couple more seconds. Reset. Breathe. Oh, let's do this again. Let's go. Down and up. So see if you can get a bit deeper on your squat now. You're a bit warmer. So let's aim to bring the butt just above knee line. Elbows forward to lift the chest and the abs are braced. Protect your lower back. Last four, three, two. Get ready for that quick transition. Stick up and over. Now your left hand. And now your left foot's gonna step forward. So long stride. Stick up and over on your upper back. Let's go. Down and rise. So that front knee is tracking forward. And you're just gonna drop the back knee towards the floor. And again, the abs keep raised. If you let it go, your body's gonna twist. Eyes looking straight. Four, three, two more. Hold. Oh, quick release. Got one more set, one more block. I'm gonna go back to the lunge kick. So you're gonna drop and rise. Get ready. Are you ready? Come with me, let's go. Down, up. So your option here, 
their toes touch the floor. We're really trying to lower that front leg. So bend and extend. Knees are soft. Breathe, you got four to go. Two more. Hold. Well done. Left foot, step back, stick up and over. Go back to your start position. All right, my name is Rach and I'm gonna go take you through glute track now. So stay where you are, and let me get set up. So at the moment you've got one foot in each handle. I want you to swap it over to your left foot. Now you're gonna step your other foot through and come down onto the floor. So you bring the knees underneath your hips, drawing in through your core, lifting up your chest. Now push your hands down into your stick. Try to maintain a nice long spine and we're gonna kick back with the left, with the leg. So push and release. So squeezing through the glutes. Try to keep your knee up in line with your hips. So really feel the glutes engage as you squeeze at the top. Eight more. Got four more. Keep pushing. Two left. Last one. All right, hold it there. Let's take a quick breath. Now our next move is our kickback with a hamstring curl. So you're gonna lift and bring the heel up to the bar. Up, in, out, and under the hips. Push, squeeze. Now I want you to control the move. Keep your shoulders back, chest up, eyes forwards. Really feel that contraction into your hamstrings. Keep the knee up in hip height. One more. All right, so I want you to bring your hand underneath your shoulder and you're gonna hold it down nice and tight. So we've got the opposite hand and opposite leg. We're gonna tap, tap the knee. So keep your hips square. Try not to rotate. Long arm and heel back. Keep pushing. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now we've got a very quick transition. So come up, step through, and swap the handles. All right. Step that leg through. Come back, pull the belly in, and we kick back. Out and in. Remember, keep that knee high and in line with your hips. Stay square, proud chest. Push with the heel. Eight more. Four to go. Last two, and one. Knees down, great. All right, reset. And we're gonna go into the kickback and hamstring curl. Move out, in, out, and down. So really feeling that hamstring and glute working. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Keep pushing down through the shoulders. Two more, stay with me. Last one. All right, now bring the hand back to the middle of the, of the stick. Remember, we're gonna extend the opposite arm and the opposite knee and tap. Out and tap. Hips and shoulders square, nice long spine. Stay focused. Eight left, reach long. Four 
final four. Two. And one. Well done. Now you've got Lincoln coming up next. Track four, biceps and triceps, two individual muscle groups. So I want you to take one strap and put it back onto each foot. Right strap on right foot, left strap on left foot. Come up tall, wind down. So you've got enough tension and bring the stick all the way down to your knees. Underhand grips just outside your thighs. Stand up tall, the straps are taut. We're gonna single bicep curl. So when we bicep curl, lock your elbows into your rib cage, pull your belly button into your spine, proud chest, and it's a single curl to the top. We've got 16 reps in three, two, one. Let's go. Boom, boom. So we're working our biceps first, then we're gonna to switch to our triceps for the back three sections. Eight more, remember, wind up if you want some more tension. Four more. Last one, hold, hold, release. Okay, take your right foot, step it all the way back into a lunge position, twist your body forward so your core is braced. Activated, this time you're gonna get more pressure through your right bicep, so we curl all the weights on the back end. 16, let's go, boom, boom. Feet are square. As you fatigue, try not to let that stick and that strap pull you off balance. Stay to the front. Four more. Good, hold, step in. We're gonna take it straight to the other side. So left leg, all the way back, twist forward. Lift your back heel off the floor. Lock your elbows in, ready to curl. Four, three, two, let's go. So the first three sections, biceps, the back three sections, triceps. Keep facing me, don't let the stick pull you around. So your left bicep should be burning. Four more. Three, two, and release, good. Take all your turns off, drop the stick on the floor. Step over the front of the stick, pick the stick back up behind you. So you're gonna wind down so the stick is tight, or straps are tight on the stick. Squat down so you've got tension when you stand up tall. So the first one, soft knees. I want you to tilt your chest forward, lock your arms out straight, and we're gonna kick back, both arms together. Out slow, okay? Hold it there. Eight seconds. 16 reps. So up, hold, release. So just holding for a split second so you lock it out. So you should feel it through the back of your arms. Try not to lift your body or tilt your torso as you move your arms. Everything's locked out, it's just your arms are moving. One more. Release. Good. Right foot. Take it forward or your left foot back, it doesn't matter. Right foot is forward though. Twist forward. This time, you've got all the pressure through your right tricep. 16 reps. Let's curl together. 16. 15. My left arm, your right arm, is burning. Two, up, hold, release, good. Chain sides. Left leg, take it all the way back. 
This is your last set of work for the triceps. Twist through, square your torso up, square your body up. Keep everything facing forward. 16, straight out the back, let's go. Remember, if you want more tension, wind up. You don't have to wait to be cued to put the tension on. Eight more. Eight. Seven. So your knees are still soft. Your torso stays still. As you fatigue, you're gonna wanna rock around. I need you to stay strong. Two. Up, hold, release. Good. Nice work. Hi team, Barra here, and I'm back for your shorter track. So, just stay where you are. So you have your feet, your strap on your feet. So remove your straps from your feet. Now grab the stick and place that on the ground. So I want to step on top of your stick. And you actually have your heels. So your stick's under your heels. Not your toes, or not the arch of the foot. So sub the knees, your feet hip width apart is slightly wider. Lift the chest, we got arms cross over. Let's go. 16, 15, 15. So knees are soft, your chest is proud. Now try to keep that arm at shoulder level. If this is too hard, you can bring your arms a bit lower. That's to make it easier, and that's to make it harder. Two more. Hold. I want you to cross your straps, and maybe grab further down, so create some resistance for our wide rows. So that's what we're gonna look like. Teeth fall from the hip with a long straight spine. Get ready now, let's go. Up and down, squeeze, release. So elbows are wide. And when you to feel the squeeze between the shoulder blades. Resist the bend on the way down. Resist the gravity. Two more. Hold. So your right hand, keep on holding to that strap. The other one, let it go. Now you can step over your right side slightly. Stick under your heels. We got draw a sword. Get ready, let's go. Up. So four moves. Up, release. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. So we're retaining your training your rotator cuff. Keep the chest proud, shoulders down and back. Last one. Heart release. We've got 30 seconds. We're gonna start all over again. So bend your knees, pick up your straps, make sure they're not crossed. Come back to the center of your stick. Put all your weight on the heels. Sub the knees, lift the chest. Got a couple of seconds. Shoulders down and back. Let's go. So keep that posture upright. Shoulders down and back. And remember, to make it easier, just go a bit lower. To make it harder, a bit higher. Training that deep shoulder stabilizes. Two more. Hold. Up across your straps. Grab further down. Create some resistance. Tip fall from the hip. Keep a neutral spine. Arms are long. Eyes looking forward. Let's go, let's go work. So again, resist on the way down. Brace that core to support your lower back. And for the squeeze 
between the blades. Should be feeling this now. Two more. Hold. Oh, left hand on the strap, the other one let it go. You can step to the left side. Slightly. We're gonna draw a sword again. Let's go. Up. So keep the shoulders down and back. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Now to make it a bit easier, just go a bit lower. To make it harder, a bit higher. Last one. Hold. Shoulders are done. Good job. Now you got Rachel for your last track. Court is on. All right, Rachel again with core and back. So take your handles and now place them underneath your feet. I'm gonna come down onto the floor. Feet out in front of you. Now roll up your tubes until they come to around about your knees. So you've got a lot of tension on there. And then turn your palms up. So nice straight back, core on tight, slightly leaning back. And we're just gonna pull towards us. Let's go. Elbows in, squeezing through the shoulder blades. So leaning back, so you've got the pressure in the core as well and a lot of work happening. Hold it there. Now for this next move, we're gonna lean back. We're gonna lift the feet up off the floor. So you're gonna keep your feet together. And we're gonna try and come back and in. Out and in. Ready to join me? And go. So you're just gonna work this at your own level. Go back to where you are comfortable. Whatever's going to work here, keep those feet together, push away, pull in with the arms, keep leaning back, pressure on the core, couple more, alright hold it there, put your feet down, now you can take one turn off if you want to, I want you to hook your elbows under, you can take a lie all the way down, feet over your hips and we're just going to extend one leg at a time. Three, two, one and go. Hold that stick nice and tight. Draw your belly button in and down. Really feeling that core engaged and fired up. Now how low you take that leg is up to you. If you can, extend the heels. A few more. Three, two, one, and bring it in. All right, so that's the core done. We're gonna roll over. Come onto your tummy. Now you're gonna bring your heels up and push them together. Open up through your chest so you really engage the back looking forwards. Now for this move, we're just going to push the stick out and in. Retract your shoulders, bring your elbows in. Ready to work. Here we go. Push and release. So try to keep your chest up off the ground. Eyes looking forwards. And feel some pressure in your glutes as well. That's good. Push it away. Tension in those bands. Work it, work it. One more. All right, hold it out and put it down. 
Now create that tension, keep the tension in your tubes. Still working through the back, even in our break. Next move, we're gonna take the legs down and up. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Out and in. Keep lifting up the shoulders. Control the movement. Great work at home. Really firing up now. Nice and smooth. Don't jerk those tubes. All right. If you want, put some tension back in there. Bring the stick towards about your chest. We're going to incorporate those two moves. So you're going to go out and in. Ready to join me? Final move. Come up. Good. Now I don't know about you, but I can feel my back working. Keep your shoulders up. Eyes looking forwards. And breathe. Doing so well. Couple more. And hold. Well done, everyone. Well done. All right, we're done. Well done. So it's time to cool down. So just tuck the ends of your straps into your stick. And let's stretch. All right. Here we go. So quads, chest up nice and tall. Bring the knees together. Take that same leg forwards. Put your hips back, toes to ceiling. Take some slow, deep breaths. Excellent. Take that same leg over the top. And I just want you to sit back. If you need that stick for support, that's okay, it's there. Just take it back to where you feel that stretch. Excellent, let's change sides. Core braced, shoe to hand, chest up high. And then same leg, out to the front, pull your toes up, nice tall back. Facing the stick, push the knee outwards, take it back. Placing that stick across your knees. Just want you to push some pressure into it so you feel that through your back. Right, bringing it up and over one shoulder. And then just bring it forward so you can feel that stretch through your shoulder. Feels good. Change sides. Grab the stick. And just tip slightly. So hook your hands over, opening up through your chest, eyes to the sky, and then finish off just with some twists. Well done. Thank you for joining us uh, with Global Group Fitness. We hope you enjoyed your workout. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Hit us with any comments below, and we'll see you again soon. Peace. Well done, and thanks for working out with Global Group Fitness. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button to support our channel. We have 17 different fitness programs for you to choose from and our workouts will be uploaded on a regular basis so that you've got plenty of fresh content to keep you motivated. If you commit to be fit, Global Group Fitness will help you live longer and healthier.